Are we live? Is this going live? Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, good. We're okay there. Good. Good. Hi guys, how's it going? Good evening. Welcome to the Pixelogic channel. Zebra Shly. That thing. Oh, for God's sake. Why, Danny? Why do you have to be the first person I see here? Why? 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 I don't want to see no dinkle nuts. Hey, Zomax. Hey, Sapphire. <laughs> hey, Mr. Ivan. Let? Victor? I am late. I am late by five minutes. I'm sorry. That's called fashionably late. Okay. All right, guys. All right. <laughs> Prig, man. Freak. Okay, so guys, if you don't know, <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know who I am, my spiel right now, uh, I am a character creature artist and I am going to be streaming. Uh, wait, hold on one sec before I do my spiel. Let me just get this all set up still. <laughs> wow! Wow! I'm so organized! Look at me! Hashtag relatable! Okay. Alright. <laughs> avian nightmare? Why does it gotta be avian? Alright guys, so, uh, I'm Ashley, uh, or A underscore cubed, whichever you wanna call me, it's fine. Um, and I'm gonna be sculpting something random from this sphere right here that you see on the screen, right up there. It's gonna be some kind of a random creature, we just kind of like go uh from from imagination see what uh we can get it's nothing really like it's nothing serious it's just sort of like it's just concept sculpting really that's what it that's what it is um oh, you guys stop saying i'm late oh my god danny you brought your cesspool with you okay so so basically when when you're doing this kind of a thing, it, I like I gotta put a disclaimer at the beginning of like all my streams because I don't want anybody coming out of this believing this is the way that you concept things for production because that's not really like that's not really true. Um, typically, you'd be using reference. Typically, you would have a general direction on like you know where you would want to go uh, for your concepts and stuff like that. But for this specifically, I just kind of like do free sculpting. Like I just kind of show that it is possible to just kind of sit down and just play around with shapes and let yourself go with whatever it is that you see on the on the canvas sort of a thing very very artsy fartsy very artsy fartsy but you know it's it's fun and it's a good way to de-stress it's a good way to just kind of like let your imagination flow away from the regular sort of like thing where you're you know doing lots of studies and doing lots of uh concept copying and things like that when you're making models and, and of the like but like I said, can't you can't necessarily just do this and expect to get really good. Like you have to be referencing things and you have to be doing your studies and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Because I, I I just wanted to put that as a disclaimer. <laughs> hey Tickles, what's up? Hi, Mr. Ivan. Ivanovich. Is that how you say it? Seagull Link! Link! Hey, hey guys. Where's your scans? You can get the scan- like, I tweeted that out. I tweeted that out. That's also on my Discord. I put the scans on my dis- Okay, so, uh, for anybody who's- <laughs> You know what, actually, I'm not even gonna mention it. You know what? My channel is, like, a special place. It is a special place. I am the garbage shoot of the CG community over there, and I just do nonsense. So, here, though, <laughs> here we're actually- we're, we're gonna do- we're gonna do some actual sculpting sculpting. <laughs> Oh my god. It's a beautiful speech, right? Okay, anyways, uh, if you guys want to follow along, if you want to try what I'm doing, if you think ZBrush is interesting, uh, which you probably will by, you know, if you try it, then uh, ZBrush actually offers a 20, or for, sorry, 45 day free trial down below in the description if you're on Twitch. If you're not, then on their, on their website, they also offer it there. So, uh, you can check that out. <laughs> too majestic. What's on the menu today? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna start pushing this around like I normally do. 
Uh, you guys, you can throw a whole bunch of random things in chat, and maybe, maybe that will stick. Maybe one of your words will stick. Maybe it'll influence the sculpt. I don't know. But yeah, like like I always say, the important thing is to work low res when you're first starting out. Always be focusing on what kind of like big shapes you can get in before anything else. Oh, thank you, Link. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Yeah, if you guys are interested in my in my um special stream, my personal streams, then you can uh, can follow that link that Link just posted <laughs> in the chat. Hey, Beetle. Hi, Diego. Vegan. You're you're a vegan. You're actually a vegan. Some some major props there. I don't think I could ever be a full full on vegan. I do eat way more vegetables than everything else though. But I don't think I could ever be full vegan. Actually, this is probably too high. So when I when I first start uh, these sculpts, I usually you you you'll see me like kind of like scale them down a lot, and that's so that like when I start sculpting, my dynamic brush kind of works really well like with the size so if you if you keep it really big then an eclipse oh do you do you get who here actually saw the eclipse who is luckily lucky enough to actually see it We're, up here we only saw 70 percent are you trying to trigger me tetra do you want to do you want me to ban you i will ban you i will ban you do a coffee cup oh my god <laughs> sculpt a vegan? I don't want to sculpt you. I don't like sculpting eggplants. You saw it in NASA's stream? Yeah. No, oh my gosh. That, um... <laughs> NASA's chat. Oh, wow. What an interesting day that was. So uh, when you when you size something down, your resolution, you're gonna have to play with the slider a lot just to just to see like you know where like because like when when something is getting smaller in the overall uh, document like the ZBrush document, then the resolution like that's basically what the resolution is. So if you make something smaller, then you're gonna have to play around with the the resolution up here in order to get. Um, the topology count that you want when you dynamesh but don't don't think of it as like sort of like a a numbers game or anything like that cuz a lot of people ask me oh well what uh what number up here do you put in when you first start your sculpts like it's different every time it really is it's different every time like i don't have like a a set thing like yeah Oh boy. Hey, he's a little ant. So this this is sort of like something that I like to do is I like to just kind of like put a whole bunch of like big uh big strokes down, not really like worry too much about where anything is going. And I usually end up taking the uh, damn standard and making a bunch of like random cuts. Because yeah, it looks like mush right now, but that actually helps uh, my eye see. <laughs> you saw the eclipse and it was the last time you saw anything. Creator, why? Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> why do you do this? Oh my gosh. Who thought it was beautiful? I thought it was weird. I thought it was a very weird thing. Looks like you already- dang. Dang. Um. Dang. 
<laughs> Very webcamable face right there. Very good. <laughs> Aw, it's cute. <laughs> All right, let's uh I guess this is this is more bug alien. So I actually put my um con like, you know, my stroke, my uh basically right right in here where do 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 replay last. I actually put that as uh, shift one because I have all of my brushes assigned to one through zero on my keyboard. So if I do shift one though, then it replays my last stroke. So I can actually like size things up. Like, so if I do this and then I press shift one, shift one, shift one, then it'll just keep repeating it over and over again. And that's like useful for scaling and moving and that's sort of a, that's sort of a thing. You like my vroom vrooms in the background? Yeah, welcome to City Life. Hey, Art. Oh, I don't- okay, so Art, thank you so much. Those are very kind words, but I don't actually finish pieces when I stream here, and that's something that I want to stress. Like, these are not finished pieces. These are sort of, like, quick concepts that you can actually then take into Photoshop, do a paint over, or do a quick render, and then do a paint over, something like Something like that, where you can get like a quick sort of idea out. It's not an actual like finished model or anything of that nature. It's just it's just to get like, you know, free sculpting ideas flowing. But I do I do appreciate those words. That's very, very kind of you. But I think that that is something that I do need to like clarify because I don't want to lead you guys like astray or anything like that like this is not yeah for finished pieces you should hold your yourselves to higher standards um, in terms of like your levels of detail and and overall like polish because these are always very very rough sculpts probably did I see the totality no I didn't see the totality I saw 70% of it uh, where I was located anyways and basically the whole sky just got like a murky gray and it was sort of like it felt overcast but there were no clouds so it was kind of like weird it was like if you stay outside for a really long time, like it, when it's really bright in the middle of summertime, and then you go in and your like first five minutes of being inside, that's what it felt like outside, if that makes any sense. Yeah, there was a lot of hype over at my office as well. Tons of hype. Everybody went outside. Literally everyone went outside. Hey Jogs Workshop, how's it going? Oh no, I, I don't I don't have it set as one. I have it set as shift one because I have all of my uh, brush hotkeys mapped to one through zero. Which is just a little bit easier for me.
So this is like, again, like, you know, it's one of those things where this is not going to be a finished sculpt. This is just, let's get it, let's, you know, let's see how far we can go. And in the end, if it's something that you like, you could always do like a paint over of it, or you could, you know, start refining it and do proper research on anatomy and uh, other other, you know, whatever it is that you're sculpting, and kind of look that up. Get some proper reference. Ooh, that room. That room, though! Some good roomage today. Ooh boy, I do not like your head. I do not like your head. Hey 3D Area, how's it going? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna get a full eclipse in Canada in seven years. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ozzy. Ozki. Ozki? Ozki. My nap? Oh my god, I sleep like, I, I, I just like laid down for 15 minutes and I was like, oh, I guess I got a stream. Oh no, I'm not working off of- <laughs> that's funny, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's like the one Rick and Morty ep- like, I've watched like two Rick and Morty episodes, that's like, one of them that I've actually seen. <laughs> I have to, I have to, uh, I have to catch up on Rich and Morty. <laughs> Rick and- did I say Rich and Morty? I did. I said, I said Rich and Morty. Alright, spin-off Rich and Morty has to happen. Actually, we could probably just do that, and then append a new thing here. Ooh, ooh, you were not, you were not symmetrical. I thought you were symmetrical. Ooh. I was lied to. Big ol' alien ant butt. But to keep this flabber, or to not keep this flabber, that is the question. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I have this kind of, kind of, kind of blocked out. I can start, like, and this is, this is one thing you guys are going to notice uh, about what I do, is I just, I, like, do not care about things uh, that I've already put down. Like, if it is not working, I will kill it. There, that's, like, that's something you've got to, like, learn. If you're going to start doing something, like, you know, not, not even just like sculpts like this, just in general. Like if it isn't working, don't be so married to something that you've put down that you can't go and fix it by just like removing it completely. And a lot of time in these like early stages it doesn't really like look like too much. It's because like I'm trying to find a shape language, like a like a design language to go with. And what I mean by that is like, you know, 
Am I going to use swoops and curves? Am I going to use like sharp angles? Like what kind of a character is this? What kind of a creature? Is this going to be like super overlaying? Like are pieces going to be overlaying each other? Are they going to be more melded? Etc. 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 So it's just sort of like uh, a process of just putting down a whole bunch of lines. It's like if you were to take your pencil and just start, uh, just start like sketching something really, really rough. You start just to kind of like feel general areas, like what what feels best. And this. I don't have like multiple. Oh, did we not? No, we didn't. Of course not. Let's make sure that we have symmetry on. Oh. Okay. What is... What? <laughs> okay. Alright, that was weird. get like an overall shape here. Mick and Rory. <laughs> Rich and Morty. Yes. Hey, Thunderboard. Th Thunderboardy. Oh my gosh. My brain. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Bench press in the womb. Hey, Thunder Bunny. What's up? Oh my goodness. Art Cav, I really appreciate those those words. Thank you so much. Yeah, you had a similar feel. Okay, sorry, Seagull. I'm like super behind in chat right now. I'm just catching up. What am I making? Uh, it looks sort of like a bug alien thing. <laughs> it needs a zip code. Is it still a butt? Of course, it's the best kind of a butt. Thunder. At least 450. Uh, yeah, exactly, Math 3D. Exactly. Don't be so married to a concept. Be able to kill your ideas. Do I work as a concept artist or a modeler? I used to work as a modeler. Now I am more of a concept sculptor where I am currently, and that has transitioned into uh, a surfacing artist in conjunction with a sculptor. So they give me they give me like sketches of what they want right like there's like a general like there's a general idea and then i just kind of like have to build on top of that and then i give it off for modelers to handle afterwards hey avbn what's up oh gif hey what's up how are you thank you so much for the 3k congratulations thank you thank you thank you thank you you sold my brain on ebay can i have the money at least Okay. <laughs> Auto mod is so weird. Auto mod is so weird. Why is it blocking random messages? All right. Good night, Danny. Good night. Have a good sleep. Guys, if you don't know Danny, Danny also streams on the Pixelogic channel. Here, hold on. Let me let me send him off with something absolutely fantastic. He's gonna love this. He's gonna he's gonna love this. He's gonna. You guys need to follow Danny Mac because Danny is Danny's the man. Danny.com. <laughs> okay, probably don't go there. But uh, let's let's get you guys let's get you guys the Danny Mac. Let's uh let's show you guys some really good work right now. Um So Danny Mac streams on uh on the Pixelogic channel. 
and he's usually on on Fridays. Here you go, guys. This is Danny's work right here. You can follow him. Danny, right, right here. Danny underscore Mac 3D. He does he does good stuff. He does really good stuff. Oh, and also like if you want any like good hair tutorials, this one, this one, this one. He does YouTube tutorials. It's good. It's great. Go follow. Okay, that's enough. You got your screen time, Danny. Now stop, stop bothering me in DMs for that. He told me to do it. Uh, uh, no, he's definitely not nice though, so don't like, just don't, don't expect him to be good to you, because he will not be. But that, that, that of course is, um, maybe just me projecting. <laughs> I love how I don't have chat on screen too, so anybody watching this replay is just like, oh my god, Danny goes into people's DMs and tells them to free the, to pimp them on, on their channels? That's like, that's like super low. <laughs> uh, that is so good. It's okay, so anybody watching the replay, Danny actually didn't ask me to do that in DMs. He only insinuated it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this thing does look like it's just like coming out of a lima bean right now. It's just, it's just bad. You, Danny. Danny. Okay. Okay. Danny. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, people here that are actually like, can you talk about what you're doing? Or just like, can you stop? Can you please stop? Please. Guys, go follow Danny. He just messaged me again to do that. He just messaged me again. He's just like, can you please just tell them to follow me again? Good night, Danny. <laughs> You're already following Danny? Oh, help you help you. No, I'm kidding. Danny's a good person. You didn't tell me to do any of that. You should go and follow him because he's actually really good at what he does and he has a lot of really helpful tutorials. So I'm gonna stop being a jerk <laughs> because now he's gone and he, he can't see that. Egyptian exit? Sure. Sure. I have no idea. Yeah, Thunder, exactly. Do that. Do that. <laughs> What's it gonna be? We're just kind of- I'm just kind of feeling it out right now. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm- I'm thinking pretty, like, well, you can- you can already see it's very insectoid. Um, but we're gonna have to see where else it goes. 
not 100% sure yet. Oh, what's that from? What's that from, Twisted? Eggplant Pharaoh. <laughs> so edgy. So real. Hey, Zuzu, what's up? It is. It's an improvised sculpt. I'm not looking at anything right now. Um, the idea is to just free sculpt, see where I... Uh, are, you know, like, at the end of this, see where I need... Um, I need to improve. Anatomy is always like huge for me. Like I always think I need to improve my anatomy. I'm always going to need to improve my anatomy. Um, yeah, and it's just it's really just like a, it's just like a for fun sort of thing. It's to see where your where your imagination goes. Nobody knows. Let's do some Z Sphere stuff. Yeah. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Cause I'm just kind of like I'm just kinda of going for it. But if you have any questions about like what I'm doing, like you can speak up, like, it's totally cool. I'm not gonna bite you. There's no way that I can. It's another monitor. It's a computer screen in the way. I mean if you asked me in person I probably would bite you, but you know, it's not in person, so don't worry. We're good. Kind of want to do something a little bit weird. Did I finish the tree guy? Nope. <laughs> I've been super, super busy. I, I, yeah, like lots of work. I'm in the middle of getting my place ready to move. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I've been doing right now, so I haven't really like had a lot of time to dedicate to personal work lately, but hopefully soon. Victor, Victor, Victor. <laughs> don't be Lego man. Oh, don't bite Lego. I, I wouldn't know. Ew. Uh, what's a good way to fix a very bad ge geometry in a model? Zero match. Yeah. So, you, it, like, if you if you have like a whole bunch of stretching going on, what you can do is you can zero mesh it, and then. Like, so basically just take your super stretched model, do a duplicate of it, do Z remesh, and then you can project the details afterwards onto the duplicate. Or from the duplicate, rather. That way you have an even uh, di distribution of polygons throughout your model. Like, let's say I were to take this, 
So let's say this this thing and then here's my duplicate, right? Like I have these two right here. So if I wanted, you know, one of them to be a zero mesh, I would just come down into the geometry tab. I mean, I have it up here already because it's something I frequently use, but you can come down into your geometry tab. Zero mesher is right here. If you zero mesh it, it's going to think for a second. Do 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 and voila that's gonna be your mesh but let's say you had this one this one right here this one you're like oh well those details though i know it's not really like a detailed thing but i'll show you i'll show the example so this is the non zero mesh version this one is the zero mesh version you can see the poly frame here is very clean this one is very very jaggy because it's just dynamesh it's just for you know doing creative things working really quickly so if you want to clean your mesh up you just grab this one uh, you can subdivide it a few times so that it has a higher resolution and then uh, with both of those visible you can hide everything else just have those two visible and your uh, z remeshed one selected come down into the project tab and you can say project all and then it will go and project those details and now it's going to maintain those uh, those details that you had on the other version. So these are the two side by side. So you, you can see that. And you can start playing around with the, uh, the distance here to try and get a closer result and get rid of like any, any issues that you might have uh, with projection. So that's that's that workflow. That's that's that. Uh, how do I polish something like an arm or a leg so it looks really smooth? Because sometimes your sculpts look very noisy where they shouldn't be. Uh, what kind of noise are you talking about? What and what kind of like smoothing are you talking about? Because you should when you're working on anatomy, when you're working on anything in general, like at all, you should be looking at the big shapes. You shouldn't be thinking about like you know you know, tiny tendons and, you know, just little tiny veins and things like of that nature until you are sure, 100% sure that your shapes, every your forms and everything is good. Like you want to have those big shapes looking good first, make sure that those are locked and loaded. <laughs> and then you can start adding that on afterwards. What is this Z-Sphere situation? It's the best thing ever, Pickles. Are Z spheres available in ZBrush Core? I'm not 100% sure about that one, Play 2D. Uh, Shane Olson does some ZBrush Core stuff, and you can probably find out what's available, not available on the ZBrush website. <laughs> yeah, no, I told you, Twisted, the scans are really bad. <laughs> Uh, comic artist, you've worked as a 2D concept artist, actually looking to teach yourself some 3D, hence being here. Any advice on the best place to start looking for resources as a complete beginner? You want to do some 3D as a complete beginner. Um, if you're not looking for ZBrush in particular, if you're just looking for 3D in particular, I'd say uh, Polycount's a good place to start, like polycount.com. Um, hold on. Yeah, so if you go to polycount.com, you can actually, they've got like a, a Wikipedia, like a wiki, a wiki thread on a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of articles regarding like the basics to 3D modeling. Smoothing that looks very stylish. Oh, okay, so you can, hold on, I'm going to spill this tea everywhere. All right, so if you want something super stylish, okay, let's just let's just work on this butt for a second. So if you wanted to like smooth this out and you wanted to make planes, I I like using the pinch brush, right? Like you can use the pinch brush just like that, and then if you smooth everything else out, then now you have a plane. You have a plane right here, and then you can grab and you can make another another plane just like so. So the pinch brush is actually really great for something like that. Um, just beware of uh, not having enough topology in certain areas. But yeah, that's how you, you can like easily and quickly like smooth something out. 
and the pinch brush works in uh you know in multiple axes as well like you can just kind of like go over stuff you've already pinched but you just have to be mindful that it will pinch in whichever way that you're dragging it um, and pinch also works in the alt function so that actually brings everything the other way so then you're gonna it'll be more evident probably right here but yeah it works in the alt and uh positive function anyways so yeah hopefully that's helpful Yeah, Shane is great. Go and check him out if you if you have a second. Twisted, I'm very well aware of how bad those scans are. I literally, I, I said to everybody, if you want them, you can have them, but they're very, very bad. So I'm sorry that you're complaining that they're bad, but I mean, you're getting them for free, so... I, I literally spent like five minutes on those scans like it's not like and we did it with a, a companion so it's not really like the best of quality but that's uh that's what you get that's what you get is you get crappy quality if you don't have the gear Yeah, no. Pinch is pinch is good for that kind of stuff. You should definitely definitely try to try to utilize it a little bit more. All right, let's uh let's <laughs> let's work on this. Let's work on this one. I want to see how far I can actually get with this. But I know you guys have questions, so don't don't be don't be afraid to ask me questions. Just know the more questions you ask me, the slower I go with the sculpt your fault. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so kidding. You want me to work slow? Okay, sorry. Hold on. Is it slow enough? Is it slow enough? Tell me if this is too fast. Is this... It is too fast. This is giving me anxiety. This is so hard to do. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> insert primitives into a sub tool you were wondering if there is if there was a time that made it more sense to insert I'm using z spheres sorry uh you can insert primitives into a sub tool right yes so you were wondering if there was a t time that made it more sense to insert v using spheres z spheres what do you mean insert v insert via using z spheres i mean like if so like yeah like i i insert uh so the back part here like i thought that, that was like a just a general shape so i just kind of like i chunked it in with a uh with a primitive like a primitive sphere but um i just felt like you know the arms are a little bit more complex than just like a primitive shape so then that's where you use a z-sphere 
but it's completely up to your own judgment. I mean, there isn't a right or a wrong, it's just sort of like, well, what's easier for you? <laughs> yeah, it is IndyCar. I'm sorry. Frig, man. Fun fact, my dad used to be a race car driver. Okay, fun fact's over. the backwards hand. It's a backwards hand. <laughs> Guys, take care of yourselves. Don't get arthritis at an early age. Nah, man, that's actually messed up. I don't like it. Goodbye. Pressing Alt actually deletes uh, Z spheres. You're missing the fun part of that fact. Fine, whatever. It's fun for me, so whatever. Whatever. Wow, 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 rude, Link. Rude. Huh. <sighs> Alright, let's just get this. I don't even know. What's going on? What's going on with this? Uh, maybe it'll just have two fingers. Maybe it's just a two-finger kind of guy. No, he's definitely a three-finger kind of guy. Hi, JK. But these hands, though, they so messed up. Ooh. Ooh. I feel it. That's this nasty. Alright, let's do... Uh... Adaptive skin, there he is. Okay. Get the Dynamesh off. I, I I like to do this with uh, without the Dynamesh resolution on when you're making an adaptive skin, just because then you get the the classic old school uh, just the sub D levels, and then it's like really low res. Just duplicate mirror. <gasps> it's because it has a sub D. You can't mirror anything if it has sub Ds. Oh boy. Oh boy. Merge down. So one thing I've learned uh, about myself when I'm doing a lot of sculpting um, on these channels, or on this channel specifically, is my tendency has always been to make the bicep, the top part of the arm, like the bicep tricep area, um, way too small, like way too like short. So I'm well aware of that by looking at a lot of my other, other sculpts, so I'm going to try and be a little bit more proactive uh, about that being a bigger shape. And that's something that's something in general that um, when when you're doing these kinds of sculpts, it's kind of it's cool to like learn where your your weaknesses are and try and improve on those fronts. Oh the serious brooms behind me. Wee wee.
Is that Sonic? Absolutely, Jordan. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nazumi! <laughs> Deep Web Canada. Jeez. <laughs> Are serious today. I kind of want to grab this. And pull it down see if I can get something a little bit interesting this way. Zebrush police telling me to start over. Just from just from my mind, this is just sort of like a, a reference. Or, not a reference, sorry, this is just for, um... Just for fun. It's called- it's just free sculpting. I want to show you guys, like, demo... Free sculpting and, uh, concept sculpting without referencing. It's- it's more of, like, a creative exercise than anything. I want to stress the term exercise. It's definitely more of an exercise than anything else. I'm gonna make that an adaptive skin as well. Again, and then a pen. It's this one. Turn that off. Oop. My camera is like right in the way. <laughs> I need a better setup. Go with that. Go with that. Duplicate that. Mirror that. Can't mirror that. Delete lower. Mirror that. Merge that down. And give me that symmetry. That was probably bad. Wait. Let me just... Let me just, like, move this over just a bit so it's not in the very center. And then duplicate that. And then mirror it. And then merge it down. Ew. 
I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> Everybody- Oh my gosh, what is that like freaking Rick and Morty reference? <laughs> Do I play games? The Darkest Dungeon. I don't actually think I've, uh, I've played The Darkest Dungeon, but I do play games, yes. Uh, ZBrush 4R8 Trial? Yeah, Ryan, you can get, uh, 4R8 for, uh, 45 days for free. You can, t you can try ZBrush for 45 days for free. You can download it either like in in the description below on uh, on this Twitch page, or you can go on their website and find me and find that. You have red cups too. Cool. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I I don't know. If you have questions? Ask me. You want my my camera to be pointed at my forehead? Is that gonna make me a more legit streamer? Is that what I've been missing? No, you can totally, yeah, you can definitely learn ZBrush in 45 days. I wouldn't say you'd be able to master it in 45 days, but you'd definitely be able to get a feel for the program and uh, understand like how much work you'd need to put into it on a personal level in order to to really learn software. But it's not, you know, the trial the trial is there so that you you can get a better understanding on if you actually like it or not, which. Honestly speaking, pretty sure you'll like it. Pretty sure. I want to figure out right here if I should do what I should do here. Thinking I'm gonna delete this. It's not working. And immediately all of the people are like, oh, it's that thing from Star Wars. Oh, it's that guy from Star Wars. Immediately. Immediately. Calling it before you guys even say it.
reminds me it reminds you of your math teacher nizumi oh my gosh i'm so sorry <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> Find a good tutorial for beginners, the 40 day trial, you know, if you want to commit or not. Exactly, Samirian. Exactly. I, yeah, I definitely just like straight up stole their model. 100%. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. I'll put a uh, get some more in Z sphere action in here. He's gonna have balls for feet. my gosh link 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 <laughs> what are some of the more useful brushes for sculpting hair similar to brushes used in hard hard edge sculpting yeah like if you're if you're doing uh something specific to um to man i can't i can't speak today i just can't i just i just can't do it it really depends on what kind of hair that you want to do. Um, if you let's 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 just like grab something really quick right here. I'm gonna save really quick and then I'll talk about it a little bit more when my head stops being so a wall. I'm actually curious to know how many of you guys would like me to go over, like, would like me to sculpt a stylized head on this stream, because part of me just kind of wants to, like, do that one stream, but I'm like, there's so many people on ZBrush that already do that, though, and probably will do it better than me, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, uh, so you asked... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Useful brushes for sculpting hair. Okay, so it really depends on what kind of hair that you want to do. Um, if you want to do something that is very graphic, then I'd say use like, you know, hard surface like brushes. If you want to do something that's like less stylized and more like uh, in the realm of realism, then there, you can actually use like the rake brush to get like your, your shape. So like if I were to open this up right here and uh, just like 
dynamash that a few times, or not dynamash, sorry. Should just make that a little bit bigger. So um, first of all, you'd want to make your, your bigger shape. So this would be your, your less stylized way of doing it. So you'd do like, you know, a bunch of chunks. You'd, you'd be able to like carve out like certain areas with damn standard and uh, clay buildup. And this is sort of like one of those those times where I actually would leave the uh, the messy lines as well. And then on top of that, you can start working in a little bit of the the bigger the bigger kind of like chunks. Now this is this is really like this is really really messy. I would actually use sorry I would use a lazy mouse on that with high lazy radius. So then you can, maybe not that high, but yeah, so that you can get like, you know, nice, nice shapes with this as well. Whoosh. Anyways, this is really, really not a good demonstration right now. Hold on, let me, let me like redo this. My brain is not here right now. Okay. Let me redo this. Ahem. <clears throat> hair, hair demonstration. Uh, sculpting. Sculpting hair demonstration. So <laughs> you want to like build up your your main shapes. So if you had like you know hair flowing this way, and then you'd have some like hair kind of coming underneath, and it would just like in general you want to like have like a, a flow to your hair. And I usually would do that with um, a clay buildup, and then like kind of smooth everything over. And then now you can already see that you have some sort of a base to work on. And with that, then I would take a dam standard with a like lazy radius on, and I would start to cut away some of the like bigger main shapes of the hair that would like flow over top of each other and start to get like a general idea. And you can use the alt function on that as well to start like really like pulling the hair out and don't worry if it kind of like overlaps on other other bits because that actually adds to um, it, it can add to another level of, uh, of it looking like hair which is totally fine but then you, you want to make sure that nothing is like really like parallel that you're doing things um, in sort of like a, a swooping swooping function and then, uh, you know, once you have that, you can you can just make sure that it's all like smooth and stuff. And then if you want to go in on top of that afterwards, uh, the rake brush, if you turn that with a lazy mouse, then you can actually turn the Z intensity down a little bit. And you can start to... Wait, hold on. You gotta like really lower it. You can start to do some like fine fine detailing on top of there so that's like if you want to do less stylized a little bit more on the the realism edge and then of course you just kind of like go and like you know sculpt on top of that even more if you want like super stylized and you're you're kind of like starting from something like this uh, then I would say Another way to go about it is I use this brush called MacCut, Mech A. You can download it for free online, the Mac, M-A-H Cut series. Um, and then I would just kind of like start to block out areas. So this is using the Alt function. And immediately you already have something very stylized that looks like it could be hair, just like so. And then it depends on like how many levels afterwards that you wanna go, then you can start, you know, carving into it with like finer strokes, like so. Just smoothing out all of this stuff as you do it. And voila, there's more hair, so. You could do it this way, you could do it this way. Really, it just like it comes down to what kind of a thing you're you're doing.
But then if, uh, let's say, let's say you're doing hair and uh, it, it's not like, you know, it's not all just one big chunk, then I would say use curved tubes. Make your big chunks with curved tubes. Hey Ren, how's it going? <laughs> oh my god, Twisted, please. Yeah, uh, the Mac Cut brush is, is basically just like a, yeah, it's basically damp standard with a wider follow up. It's, 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 it's typically like, it's advertised for hard surface things, but I use it for stylized stuff. Okay. Okay, I know you're outside. I get it. I get it. You have an emergency. Save the person. Go. Go forth. Yes. Let's try this again. During the daytime, if you open your window, you get like a bunch of dogs barking. That's amazing. But also pretty annoying if that's something you have to deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> it wants to communicate, uh, apparently. <clears throat> oh, you had the same- t oh, Siren was at the same time, that's amazing. <laughs> wap, wap. <laughs> that- wouldn't that be- that, that would just suck if they were actually, like, if, if they were actually just watching the stream and they were in like their cruisers and they were like, you know what would be funny? We just make like annoying noises outside.
Oh, I still have uh, <laughs> the lazy mouse on for this thing. I'm turn that off. Uh, went through Dynamesh, and the limbs were made of Dynasphere. Uh, they were made out of Z spheres, Dragon Wasp. Um, Sumerian, my personal stream is actually right at the bottom of the screen over there. Here, let's go for let's go for a fly, a flyby. Woo! You see this right here? That's actually my personal stream. So if you want to tag me in chat here, actually, like, you, you can't really, like, you can't tag me via adding um, Pixelogic. You actually have to go at A underscore cubed, and then, and then I'll see your message highlighted. Because right now, it's... Yeah. It's me. Uh... It's like a dog choir, oh my gosh. <laughs> a street racing area? No, it's just a very busy, busy area. No idea how the Nintendo were made? Oh, the Nintendo's were super easy. All you gotta do... Here, I'll make some more. Why not? Um, grab the curve tube, and then whoosh! That's all you gotta do. Just curve tube, woo! Antennas. Look at that. Let's see, how far back was our quick save? Eh, it's not too bad. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, thanks, Link. Yeah, if you want any of my um, mash diffs, you can clink, clink on the links that Link provided. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Feels okay though, because I didn't actually really like lose much. But this is kind of creeps. I don't. I don't really like. I don't really like these. Super realistic skin texturing or fur even on their models. Do you sculpt that super high res? Um, a lot of the time, actually, it's used with uh, scan data. Like, if you want to do, like, I mean, you could absolutely spend the time trying to sculpt it out. Um, but a lot of people do use uh, things like XYZ textures and displacement maps that have been scanned by real people. Like, you know, like it's take pictures of like real real human flesh. Man, that sounds creepy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's usually, it's usually, um, something to do with the texture files that they're able to grab scan-wise. Like, if you want, like, hyper-realistic. But there are people that, like, you know, sculpt it out too. If you find that fun, if you find that, uh, sort of a thing really fun, then, yeah, all the power to you. But the the way that a lot of people in production do it, from from my knowledge, because I don't do like hyper realism at work. At work, uh, at work, I work on animated feature films at work, so I'm all about damn shapes.
wondering if maybe I flip this. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I don't know, actually, we could probably- ew. <laughs> ew, it's so gross. Ew. <laughs> See, which course you need to know what polygroups are? Polygroups are- so if you, let's say I have this thing- this whole color right here is a polygroup. If you want a separate polygroup, you can go and select something and then press Control w and that will make it a new group. Basically, you, you have like a whole tab down here too to do with a uh, polygroup, so if if you had this like, you know, selected or whatever, you can actually like group it in different ways. You can say group visible and then everything that's visible on uh, that tool will then turn that color. Um, you can group uh, based, like you do an auto group, so if everything was merged together, it would actually group things based on uh, poly count, or the pol- uh, yeah, topology continuity. So if this was like, you know, this piece was part of this subtool over here, then if you did auto group, this one would be its own polygroup and this one would be its own polygroup. So what that means, like let's say this was a separate polygroup, then you can actually do things like, you know, hide specific, uh, specific parts of it that have been grouped off that way. You can come into the brush menu and go into auto masking, turn mask by polygroups all the way up, and then now you can affect only that area. So it's like, you know, you can use it as like permanent masking, you can use it, uh, you know, to hide things. You there's a lot of different ways of using uh, polygroups. <laughs> hey, Lemmington, how's it going? All right, see you, Thunder. Have a good, have a good night. <laughs> Sorry, wait, what what did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> Going ew on my own Oh, I I I say ew to my own creations all the time. The thing is, like you got to you got to know when like how to judge stuff for yourself, right? Like if you're constantly being well, like, "Oh, yeah, what I'm doing is like the bomb.com." Like honestly, you're not you're not going to improve. Like if some like when I'm saying ew to something, it's just like it's because like I know it needs it needs work. Like it needs a lot of work. Like, I don't even know what's going on with these feet. And I'm not here to, like, pretend to you guys to, you know, be like, oh, yeah, no, I am, like, the hyper-experienced artist. Like, I know everything. Like, that's completely BS. I don't know everything. I'm still learning, and I'm always going to be learning. So, yeah, I'm going to say ew to the things that I make if I don't think that it's good, if I think that it's going to need improvement. And it's just, you know, it's just, it's something, it's something that is going to always happen. Because I, I, in my head, I need to, I need to get a lot better. But I can still help you guys, like, if you have any questions. <laughs> I'm not good! Do you have any questions? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to get banned. Let's, let's do some let's do some of this. Let's do some of this.
How do I good? Get out. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Frantic. Like you you should definitely feel proud of uh Like you should definitely you should definitely feel proud of what you create, but never stop being critical of it either. Like the moment that you're just like, "Man, I'm so good." Like that's when you're going to you're just going to plateau. You're not going to get better. You always have to be looking to improve your work. You can't just kind of sit there and be like, oh, I'm so good. Like, no, 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 don't do that. Like, you can be proud of what you do and be happy for your accomplishments and your growth, but you should probably, probably never just like stop thinking, like, you know, start thinking that you don't need to improve. to fart, but ended up sh Oh no! Pickles! Ew! <laughs> Ew! How much bags of milk does it take to fill a light bulb? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so lost right now. <coughs> What? <laughs> Jordan, what are you talking about? Uh... <laughs> Say hi to the qu oh my god. <laughs> you guys are so messed up. You guys are so weird. So am I. That's why I like you. Sorry, that was the. Uh, we're on the Pixelogic channel. I am a professional, I promise.
Oh my gosh, Jordan, please. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan. Don't don't make me read you my sonic fiction fan fictions. I will read you all of the sonic fan fictions. It's like the worst punishment ever. So I'm I'm just kind of like splitting off some main main parts, um, and then uh, and basically just like separating them so that I can sculpt on them easier, more more easily. Sorry, grammar. <laughs> I'm gonna save right now. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I haven't saved. Let's just save. <laughs> do I do retopo? Yeah, I do. Um, I haven't at home for a little while, but I do retopo things. Not on this channel. I don't retopologize on this channel. <laughs> slay, Roach, slay! <laughs> oh my god! Pickles! like to eat debris of the two oh ah no don't say that mr ivan why would you say this ew i don't want to know roaches have been on my toothbrush no stop no no i refuse you're lying you're lying Oh, man. <laughs> you don't think you could take it? <laughs> I don't think anyone could take it. I don't think I could take it. I probably just... Uh, no, I don't even... No, can't. Not even gonna talk about it because I don't think that's even fair for any of us. So I'm just gonna... It's the worst punishment ever. Boop, 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 boop. Bloop. Big pincers are big. To actually do this in a way that makes sense, because right now this does not actually make any sense. Let me grab this bit. Pull these ones out so it looks sort of like a connecting part. And then we can dynamash that, start sculpting on it as if it were a connecting bit.
Oh my gosh, Dragon Wasp. I, that would be that would be horrible if they, that would be the worst thing ever. A stream dedicated to Sonic's fanfiction. I could not handle that. Want to see the video? Which video? No. Oh, oh, the Roach one. No, I don't. Don't. No. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Link. I mean, like, yeah, it's totally me. This one, this is me. Hey guys, it's me! <laughs> Skill an artist should have besides the art itself, time management, awareness, etc. Um, I wouldn't say there's, like, one particular skill that's, like, you know, that stands above all others. I would say that everything is, you know, everything that you're mentioning right there, it's all important. Um, I think, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up on that one. I would have to say the most important trait that you could work on is perseverance because there's so many people I know that have just kind even myself that have just kind of at one point in time either completely dropped art because they thought that they couldn't get over it they couldn't improve that they couldn't just keep going and that's that's just it if you stop then of course you're not going to improve. But if you have perseverance, then you can actually just keep going, you can keep improving, and you can actually get to that level that you thought you never would be able to. It's very difficult to be able to push yourself to that point, but perseverance, I would definitely say, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, is probably the, the most important thing that you could work on. Just like pushing yourself to get through those, uh, those humps. Those, those periods of feeling like you can't, you just can't. See who wants this? Oh my gosh, Samaria, no! There would be way too many, too many upvotes for that. Just because you all are trolls. <laughs> Scopes and zeros come. Uh, uh, flat shapes, features, and silhouettes. Any idea uh, what one should practice to understand how to fix that sort of thing? Um, rotating, rotating around your sculpt. Always like you, you probably, you guys probably see me going like, Ooh! like I'm not doing that for no, like, just for fun. I'm not doing that to make you guys dizzy. The reason why I'm rotating around is to make sure that, like, you know, I'm looking at the silhouette from, like, every angle. Right now, the front silhouette is really weak. This looks really, really bad, and I will get to that. But right now, I'm just kind of focused on the side and parts of the head. Because, like, this is a short stream, so... Well, not a short stream, it's four hours, but, I mean, in terms of, like, getting a full-bodied character, like, concepted out, it, it is, a, like, a short amount of time. So, I just kind of, like, focus on areas and then go back to other parts, and I jump around a lot. Try not to focus on, uh, super minor details. That's, that's another thing. Um, to avoid flat shapes, your three-quarter view is probably going to be your most important. So if you look at something from three quarters and it's not reading, then maybe consider, okay, well, where where is that coming from? Take your light. I have my light over here. You don't usually see me using it uh, on stream that much. But for my personal projects, I, I like to actually rotate this around just to make sure that, like, you know, what I'm doing, I'm actually getting that sort of, like, that round feeling, that, that feeling of volume. On stream, I... Like, because because it's so preliminary, I don't, I don't mind if it, you know, if I'm not rotating my light around a whole bunch. I usually do that in, in slightly later stages. But, yeah. Those are... I guess those are some, some tips, maybe. Hopefully.
Polypaint option on the Z rematch, and if you do, do I have any advice on how to control it better? Um, I think if you- wait, so you're saying you know how to use the polypaint option. Uh, you- you don't- don't like- make sure that your- your- your polypaint is going on at an RGB intensity of like 100. Like that's like gonna- gonna say like exactly where, um, the Z remesh- Z remesher is going to follow and where it's going to avoid. So if you do it like, you know, at a hundred percent, then that's like, you know, definitely avoid this or definitely stay here. So it's more of like a waiting system. I would, I would call it more of like a waiting than uh, anything else. But if you want more information on that, I'm going to do it. I'm going to plug Z classroom again. Here we go. Hey, Phoebe, how's it going? Yes. I agree. Reference, reference, re the, the, the reference. Uh, this stream specifically is just a free sculpting stream where I don't actually reference in uh, creative exercise. It's really just to just to play around with shapes. And if this were a concept that I liked afterwards, it's because I'll, I'll dive a little bit deeper into the reason why these streams like you know and when I when I free sculpt I don't use reference because when I'm doing these these exercises I actually find that staring at reference will keep me in that bubble of reference and that's totally fine like that's actually a really good thing because then that's you know that's what you're you're gonna be referencing for that's what you're gonna be concepting for and you're going to be sculpting exactly that which is which is a great thing but for, for a creative exercise, I actually find it's very liberating to just go off of that for a little while. Uh, this is not something where you would be learning, but it's more of like practicing skills of uh, using your visual library, you know, and seeing where you need to improve on things. What what more do you need to study? Where are you lacking? What, what could you improve on? Um, and just kind of like seeing where your head goes without looking at an image like what because the the imagination is all built up of things that uh that that you've seen in real life your imagination it, it's not like it comes out of nowhere it's built on everything that you've already experienced so the more things that you experience the more you're going to be able to do this kind of a thing the more you're going to be able to come up with like random stuff out of your head so when it comes to these kinds of exercises, I like to just see where I'm at with my visual library. And if I want to pursue, you know, wider directions, different directions, all that kind of stuff is actually, uh, for me, I find it's a very liberating exercise in terms of like, you know, artistry, you know, where are you uh, as an artist? Because sometimes when you're, when you're just referencing things, you can get a little bit stuck to those images that are, that are on your screen. And so it's nice to kind of like close those occasionally and just, just see what, see what's up. Oh, so how are you doing, Phoebe? I haven't, I haven't talked to you in a while. It's good to see ya. Good to see ya. Oh yeah, no, totally, totally. I completely agree with that, Phoebe. Totally agree. I just wanted to explain to people, like, you know, why I do what I do. Um, what the purpose of this is. It's really like a lot of it is just to have fun though because sculpting and art in general, art should be fun. It shouldn't be like this thing that you're just like you're stressing over, you're choring over or anything like that. It should always be fun. It should always be something that you enjoy because when you're enjoying something, great things come out of it. If you're like, oh my gosh, I have to sit here and I have to copy this image. This is not what I want to do. Like, no, like you're not going to make good work. You're going to want to find something in that that you enjoy so sometimes sometimes breaking off from the projects that you're doing for for like you know an, a couple of hours here and there just to just to freshen yourself up just to do something just for you 
can actually be incredibly liberating and refresh you. It actually will help you not burn out. Because if you're if you're going like super ham on the studies, I can tell you from experience, you will burn out. Like if you only do that, if you don't do anything for you, you. Like just you, yourself. Absolutely study though. I'm not telling you not to study, you definitely need to study. But take a break sometimes. Hey, BB Art, what's up? Oh, you got a new job, sweet. That's awesome. Welcome back, welcome back. You're looking at getting key shop for ZBrush and you're debating HD versus Pro, what you had and what your thoughts of the differences. I actually don't know the, the real difference between HD and Pro. I haven't used HD. I actually, I have Pro. Uh, I have the bridge though, so I don't have the full version. Like, I mean, it is the full version of key shop, but it's for ZBrush specifically. So I would not be able to tell you the full differences, but on uh, on their website they have a full breakdown of what the differences are, so I would say, I guess, go and look at that, like just read the differences and just kind of be like, well, do I need this versus that? Like, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not gonna pretend like I know. Yeah, no problem, guys. Uh, what sculpting brushes do you use for the use the most? My um, brushes I can go through right now. They're mapped uh, one through zero. So one I have as clay buildup, two I have as dam, dam standard, three I have as H polish, four is snake hook. Oh, snake hook! You guys see me using that all the time. Uh, five is my inflate, six is pinch brush, seven I have as ma cut, which you can download for free, and I demoed that earlier. Uh, seven there isn't anything, and oh. My seven and eight, usually I have my standard brush, and eight I usually have as uh, trim dynamic, but I don't know. Like, I think I forgot to map them again because I imported new hotkeys. So usually those are there, but those are for like I use those for later stages in projects, and I never really use them for streaming that often. So I just have like you know those six brushes that you just you just heard me say are the ones that I use most often on the Pixelogic stream. Uh, how do you set the light up? If you go into the, your light thing, you can actually drag this. When you're setting up your UI, you can actually drag that around, or you can just use it f from, the, uh, from the light tab right here. Got back today from a two-week trip. Oh, nice, yeah. Zero art on the trip. Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's a good break though. You gotta you gotta have those breaks That's awesome. Did you enjoy the eclipse cuz like I could barely see like nothing really happened here <laughs> No, definitely study. I'm not saying don't study <laughs> New figure artists don't use enough reference. Oh, yeah, if you're doing figure stuff you have to be referencing like crazy. All right, good night, Phoeb. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, working on a character right now, and you're struggling with the style of clothing. You wanted to take a break and just Google search for random stuff not related, and that popped in. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh my god, with the sirens. Buy the key shot to ZBrush Bridge without having key shot. So you can get a ZBrush specific like specific version of Keyshot, which is a lot cheaper than the full version of Keyshot. But you would only be able to send things from ZBrush over to Keyshot. You can't be bringing stuff from like Maya or, you know, like any other like 3D software into into Keyshot. It would have to be through the bridge, which is through the BPR render. <laughs> hey Dona Ham. Dona Harm, sorry. Hey Morvin. Do I live in Detroit? It sounds like it, but no, no, I'm in Toronto. Basically the same thing, right? No.
<laughs> oh yeah, nightlight it or the nightlight is super active. Like there's there's constant noise where I am. Constant. Like you can wake up at four in the morning and there will be yelling outside somewhere near here. Or somebody will be setting off fireworks, or somebody will be, like, just, like, I don't know, letting their dog out and they're gonna start, like, freaking out. There's always noise, like, constant. But I'm, I'm actually going to be moving soon, so... That won't be a thing anymore. Yeah, it's uh it gets really loud here. It's hard for me to um to get good sleep a lot of the time. I'm very very tired. It's not it's not healthy. It's not good. I've got like I've got double paned windows, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's still super loud. A lot of the time they just scream at nothing. Like I was walking I was walking home the other night. Um the like this is this is true for a lot of parts of Toronto, but I guess like just where I was specifically wasn't really good. Um and like a hobo a hobo actually was just like a crazy person just like like lunged and like grabbed at me and just started like yelling in my ear. It was very unsettling. And I was like, oh I'm glad I'm moving. <laughs> They just kind of like, they just start yelling. Like, it's it's really weird. I don't know why, they just do. I, I think they just, they see things that we don't. <laughs> uh, Toronto, Toronto. Clean coal. Key shop bridge working without key shot. I bought it ages ago. If you... Yeah, so you you buy the key shop bridge and then you buy key shop for a ZBrush. So there's two there's two purchases that you would have to do. It isn't just like buy the bridge and then that's it. Like if you get the bridge and then uh, key shop for a ZBrush, which is the cheap version of uh, key shot, then overall your your package is like way cheaper than if you were to buy key shot on its own. So that's that's actually that's what I have. So I can I can actually I can demo that really quick. Uh it's probably just because I'm going to, it's just like it's gonna fail like really bad. I'll show you guys what the, the bridge is. So the bridge for ZBrush, like if I go to external render in render settings, you can actually click ZBrush right here. There's a bunch of different settings, but like that's like, you know, auto merge just basically like merges everything with the same name. So you, your naming is very specific, like it's very particular here um, or the same poly group or whichever. 
can also do by materials, but whatever is better for you. Um, and then if you click BPR, this is going to think for a little bit, but I'll put on monitor capture so you can see. This is going to think for a little while, and it's going to start opening up Keyshot. Boom! It says it says six, but it's actually seven. I upgraded to seven. Uh, so this is what that ends up looking like. It's going to think. It's going to do a bit of thinking. It's going to do that thinking thing. And... Do, 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 do. Imports everything. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. And there we go. So this is this is what uh, Keyshot ends up looking like with your model in it. And then you can just start dragging and dropping materials. You can edit your materials. You can do all that kind of stuff. But uh, the reason why I don't do this on stream is because uh, you can hear my music cutting out. You can probably hear me cutting out. It's starting to get like really heavy, so I can't like because of my computer, like my my setup, my setup specifically. I can't. I can't like do renders uh, during stream, like it's just way too heavy. So we just do ZBrush. But that's 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 basically how the the bridge works. Is you just it's a one button sort of a deal. Pretty cool. Aha, Eric! Sorry to bug you, but I thought I'd probably fly by and see what you're. Ha ha ha! Buzz off now. Why why are you buzzing off? Why are you no stay? Hobos are supernatural sensitives. Yeah, I know, right? It's not- yeah, it, it, it- like, that's the thing though, right? Like, it does start getting, like, really heavy when I start dragging materials and stuff. Like, it's not- like, my, my computer needs- like, I need more RAM. So... And I also need a better processor. That's the big one, is I need a better processor. In order to do that kind of a thing. Let me try and get like some separation here because this is kind of silly. This looks like actually very silly. Yeah, it's the same thing with Gozi as well. Exactly, yo, David. What's my rig? My rig? My rig? Yeah. Um, I have, I have, like, here, hold on. Uh, 
Bling. There you go. Tested. I use a spotlight thing in ZBrush. Yep, I do. I use that sometimes to keep reference open, and if I want to, um, spotlight can actually like take an image and. Uh, you can actually take the texture of that image, like the, the color information of that image, and just kind of like paint it down onto whatever, like you can project it down onto your model. Yeah, I have I have an SSD right now for my main drive, but I need to upgrade it because it's only 250 gigs, and that's apparently not enough for me. So I need more. <laughs> there's a there's a big a big upgrade that's gonna be happening for my computer at some point in the future. Cause yeah, needing more space. I think that's that's like the big thing is like storage space for me storage space. Room. Okay, so the, the bit under here would not have to be nearly as big as the one on top. That's what I'm thinking right now. Ooh. This, though, this is just not, she's not working for me. I'm thinking. <laughs> now you guys are like, it's so bulba. Positioning a little bit differently. Oh, thank you, Link. Yeah, I guess if you ever want to check out my personal streams, they are a lot crazier than this. Like, this is the Pixelogic stream. I take the opportunity to do more of a, hey, let's answer your questions. Let's, let's, uh, let's talk about this in a more serious manner. But over on my stream, it's a little bit, it's a little bit psycho. So if you want psycho sculpting, <laughs> come hang out on my stream. Man, I don't sell that very well. <laughs> I do not sell that very well 
at all. Uh, but that's that's fine. Hold on, one second, guys. Who, who on earth is? What is? Why am I being tagged? What's happening? Who's talking to me? Who's talking? Oh no, it's just Discord. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Default mat, or did I make this? No, this one is a Glauco Longi mat, so I will type that in chat. Glauco Longi. If you do not know this guy, you should definitely go and check out his work. He is really good. He's working at Naughty Dog right now. He's good. And he offers these materials for free. Oh, yeah, with the new job, you got a new PC. VBR, that's awesome. Congrats, dude. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely, like, a necessary investment that will end up, like, you know, benefiting me in the future, but it's just, like, like, putting that money down, that's, like, the, that, that's, like, the big thing, especially when you don't have that money to put down, you're just kind of, like, do I need that extra 16 gigs of RAM? Do I need that extra 8 gigs of RAM? I mean, like, it's one of those things where you're just, you know you're not gonna buy it later, or at least, like, most of you maybe won't buy it later. I mean, maybe if you're like me, you won't buy it later, you're just gonna upgrade your whole PC again. But it's just like, just, just do it. Just, just get a good rig, and then, uh, and then you won't be, be struggling as much. I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, you know, top of the line or anything, like, ridiculous, but get something uh get something that that won't you know that you can handle all like a lot of polygons get something that won't you know crash on you just because you have two programs open i know that's a little bit extreme but like also judge you know what are you what are you using it for if you're if you're doing like digital painting are you doing things like super high red high res if you're doing uh, just sculpting, are you doing things that are going to be millions and millions of polys? Are you rendering things? If you're rendering things, you better get a good... Better, better get yourself a good rig. Job dev civil. Oh my gosh, he's not civil. <laughs> hey, Majestic, how's it going? If you want Sonic fan fiction readings, <laughs> then you need the best PC because everything will catch fire as soon as you start reading about Knuckles. Just don't. Just don't. Oh, you met him? Oh, that's awesome, creator. Yeah, Glauco's, Glauco's amazing.
Nah. How do I how do I wanna do this? Let's see, it has something like this. Updated the UI to our- Oh, I totally forgot to do that, Twisted! Okay, okay, you guys, bombard me about doing that on Discord as soon as this, this stream, we have another hour and 40 minutes. So, as soon as I'm done streaming here, just, just message me like crazy, like, just put it in Discord. Just tell me, don't forget to put your UI on Gumroad, and I promise you I'll tweet it out when I do. Just, you better remind me, because I have a horrible memory when it comes to this kind of stuff. So remind me. <laughs> You already want 32 gigs. Yeah, I know. I already I want 32 as well. I have 16 right now. I want 32. Oh, man. The Cube Brush Ultimate Career Guide for 3D Art. Yeah, Cube Brush actually ha they have like a lot of really good tutorials over there. Oh, th thanks, Ninjonas. I appreciate. Is the link for the Discord? The Discord is uh. Hold up. Let me. Let me hold up. Wait a minute. Here we go. Oh God! Don't give it to Tetro. Or er, Tetro. Don't don't give it to him. Don't. No. He's gonna he's gonna poop all over the place. He's gonna poop all over it. He's gonna poop all over my Discord. Link, can you just like ban Tetra? Just ban him? Just straight up. <laughs> just like he hasn't even joined yet, just ban him. Don't don't let him. You're gonna- oh my god, he's a, so basically- basically Tetra. Mr. 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 Shape. I feel you on the shape language, okay? I get it. Me, I, I, I like the, the shape names too. But don't you be pooping on my Discord. It's nice and clean. Minus all that Sonic fanfic stuff that was happening earlier. I don't know what that was. I don't know why that happened. I blame, uh, I blame Jordan. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, you don't have to ban him. Not yet. Not until he starts pooping. He starts pooping. Ban him. And for anybody who's looking to join the Discord uh, that didn't get the links, you can always just go to my profile on Twitch and then type exclamation mark Discord and then a new link will be generated for you. I just know if you if you start pooping in my Discord or safe haven, you will be escorted. In a bad way. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, it's a it's a if you guys want to like ask any questions, we've got like a bunch of other like 3D artists that hang around there occasionally, like when they're not really busy. People who are in the industry, like we've got we've got some people in that uh, Discord. So if you have like questions or if you're just bored and you want to hang out like with other 3D artists for whatever reason, then that's a place you can ask the questions. You can hang do the hangouts. All right. So I'm going to do that thing where I take an alpha, import, let's see, desktop, where's my, my wing that I had? Yeah, let's do this one. So, oh, it's not showing up. Cry. Hold on. not showing up oh sad very very sad <laughs> no <laughs> okay let me switch over save saverinos if you guys aren't saving you better save your sculpt so you don't crash and die and burn What is Discord? Uh, Discord is just sort of like a chat room, like a internet chat room. So like any people can just kind of like come and hang out. Um, there's a bunch of different sub chat rooms for like posting questions about like you know your art. You can post your art there. You can see announcements that I post. Uh, you can have a general chat with other people. It's basically it's just a chat room really. These hands, though, I'll have to get back to that. I wanted, I wanted to, hmm, hmm. Thought I had. I thought, I thought I had. There it is. Okay, there we go. So I can, I can do like a create sort of a thing. So you can actually create a, or make, sorry, make 3D. 
So by making 3D, I'm just going to go on to a new thing. By making an alpha 3D, you can act like that by pressing this splash. But bleh. wow. Wow. Okay. No one called 911. I promise I'm okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So by pressing make 3D on an alpha, you can take that alpha and it will create a 3D mesh based on, um, based on whatever is white. So right now the, the black bits are what I want to be the 3D mesh. So I'm going to actually inverse that and boom, now I've got my, watch this, it's a magic wing, magic wing. So I'm gonna up my resolution by maybe not too, too much. And then I'm going to lower my depth and I'm gonna click make 3D. Oh, so that one needs a higher resolution. Delete that. I'm just gonna go through here and delete some of these uh, these tools because I don't need all of them. I don't need all of them up. All right, alpha. Then get my resolution higher. Make 3D. It'll think for a little bit. It'll do its thinking thing. I stopped working again. Always keep stop working. All right. So maybe not like this. We'll try. We'll try a lower depth, and uh, the smoothing. I'll turn it down by. We'll, we'll we'll do like two. All right. Make three. Boom. So that's that's already like loads better. So maybe if I try no smoothing we might get something a little bit crisper because the the alpha is already like super crisp so maybe that's that's what we want Ooh, no that's not what we want that's not what i wanted i think i must have clicked a slider by accident whoops okay let's do one <laughs> it's not what we want depth of one Make 3D. There we go. Nice and crisp. Voila! So that, I can go append. There we go. Ooh, and now we have a wing. We have a whole thing made out of an alpha. So you can, ooh, he hello. So you can actually, um, this, this is good for, like, if you want to paint uh, materials and, like, you know, intricate patterns and stuff like that. If you want to do that sort of a thing um, in, uh, in Photoshop or another program, like, if you wanted to just make your own alpha, this is actually, you know, a really good way to just turn that immediately into into a 3D object that's usable. So I've demoed this uh, a few times actually on, on this channel with these same wings actually. So I'm gonna try and modify these. I'm gonna try and modify these a bit so it's not like I'm using the exact same thing constantly. All right, now you're also gonna wanna like make sure that you turn your alpha off afterwards because otherwise you're gonna keep pulling with that image on whatever brush it is that you're selecting.
a creature. <laughs> hey, Asin, how are you doing? <laughs> AshleyAdams.exe stopped working again. Yo, that happens like multiple times a day, though. How do you subdivide a dynamesh with triangles? Um, but if you just press Control D, then you're gonna get a subdivision of uh, of that model that you're using in Dynamesh. But um, if you want a clean topology, I'd recommend doing a Z mesh of it, and then re uh, reprojecting your details afterwards. How often do I stream on Twitch? Um, I'm supposed to be streaming on my channel every Tuesday, but I'm just like, I'm super busy for another like maybe three weeks. So I won't be streaming very frequently on my channel, but uh, here I'm here every Wednesday at 8 p.m. EST or 5 p.m. PDT, whichever one you want to convert. But uh, yeah, I've I've been like I've been super busy lately, so I haven't really been streaming as much. But I'm gonna be changing that soon. But OT is coming for me again. Overtime, why? Your Snoopy bloopers. <laughs> All right, clean. That's awesome. I will remember. Yeah, saved. I just saved. An alien mosquito. Yeah, kinda. Actually, I kinda wanna turn the butt into a little bit of like a stinger. That might be... Let's let's see. Let's see how that, that goes. Ooh. Hello. And then this one, I'll probably like pull it a little bit longer, split it. So I think this is like one of my favorite things about the gizmo too, is that like you can you can actually like line everything up. You can line it all up again. I appreciate that. Let's do it from right here. Whoops. And why not? Split masked. Oops. Because it's alien already, so why the heck not? Just give it the three wings. I actually don't know how that would work physically, but you know what? Don't judge, don't judge, don't judge. Mm -mm. Bans me from OT. Oh, save me. <laughs> Nah, if it's gotta get done, it's gotta get done. Thank you. 
You already want to kill it? No! He's half. He's your friend. Friend. Look. Friend. He's got heart nipples. It's all for you. Nightmares? No! Come on, he's not that scary. He's not scary. Okay, so you mix, mix a part liquid dish soap with water. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I, I kill fruit flies with um, apple cider vinegar and uh, and dish dish soap. Dish, dish soap. Wow, why is that so hard for me to say? Dish soap. Oh my gosh, that's really hard for me to say for some reason. Dish soap. I have to pause. That's weird. What render engine do you recommend for portfolio presentations of character designs for a game studio? Is ZBrush BBR enough? How about Marmoset? Yeah, Marmoset. Do it up in Marmoset. If you're doing uh, game game res stuff, then yeah, absolutely Marmoset. Or if you can get it in engine, if you're able, because you know what, um, Unreal is uh, like they they have it like it's it's up for free. So it is harder to uh, learn. It's a it's a stronger learning curve, but that would be incredibly impressive if you can get it into a game engine and then have it rendered there. Um, but if you can, and this is this is all coming from somebody who's not a game artist, forewarning. But I have seen a lot of game artists use Marmoset as a ways to showcase their their stuff for sure. If you just want to do character stills though, and it's not necessarily just for game art, you want to do like high poly renders and stuff, then yeah, if you want to use Keyshot, I use Keyshot. Um, you could also use V-Ray in, in Maya or Max. Background music is putting you to sleep. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's We have to use copyright free. It's a disgusting bug. You know what, Hyperspace? You know what, Mr. Beast? You're, you're kind of right. You, if you were a Martian, you'd smash. Scandisk! No fanfiction. <laughs> As the tutorial, I will give you guys an update on that, hopefully by this weekend. I have been so busy. I, like, I need, I need to, I need to spend time on it, but I've just been, like, stupid busy. Did you catch a Canadian accent? You absolutely did. You absolutely did. I slur my words and I hate it. I need to enunciate. It's very, very difficult for me to use. Wow. When I start trying to speak more enunciated, it is very difficult for me to... Yeah, my throat starts to tense. I think, I think I've just, the way that I speak is just really, really relaxed. Like, I just kind of like let my vocal cords go... <laughs> It is not elegant. I... Uh, I can't say dish soap. It's hard. It's hard. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Is that just me or is that like a Canadian thing? I don't know. Dish soap. Dish soap. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm a disappointment to everybody who says dish soap really quickly. <laughs> I swear I wasn't dropped as a child. Even though it looks like it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Link. Oh, you guys are brutal. Lumberyard. Ooh, I, I actually don't know what young Yumber. I need to go to like speech therapy or something. That's what I need. I need to. You know what? I'm gonna consider speech therapy. This is this is a defining moment. Welcome to my life, guys. 
I'm gonna consider speech therapy. That's what I'm gonna do. Actually do that. Maybe I just need to like start learning another language. Maybe that will help me. Chugging that maple syrup. Like, no tomorrow. Dis soap. See, that's easy. That's easier to say. Dis soap. Dish. It's hard! I don't know, what the hell? <laughs> it's difficult to say without running the truth. Thank you, Joanne! Somebody's on my side! There we go! Jeez! Jeez Louise! Jeez Louise! Guys, this is a sculpting stream, not a let's criticize your accent! <laughs> God! I don't even know if it's an accent or if I'm just lazy. I'm probably just lazy. Okay, let's split and close and close. Louise? You're Louise. No, I'm kidding. Lumberyard better than you even- I have- I, I- again, I don't know what- I don't know what, uh, Lumberyard is. Palm oil. Palm olive. Somebody tell me to go- somebody give me some good speech therapy, people. You couldn't say pushed, it took you about ten minutes to get it sounding right, and I said, dude, you have no idea. Like, oh my gosh. Anything with the shh. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. You have real- ooh. Uh -huh. See, when people say they have a bad, like, you know, southern accent, or they have a bad, like, whatever accent, like, not bad. No accent is bad. It's just an accent. But, for example, I I'll, I'll tell you, like, right now, like, what the... What, what kind of an accent I have. Like, even there, when I'm saying, ah, accent, it's like, ah. Like, it's very, like, in the middle of my throat. Um... If I say Toronto, I don't pronounce things, right? Like, it's just like, it's Toronto. It's not Toronto, like a lot of people who aren't from Toronto, they say Toronto, which is very weird. <laughs> it's just like, it just kind of like, it just like, what, what even is pronunciation? Get a Dynamesh on this bad boy. Uh, 
Oh, he's so lovely. He's so pretty. Toronto. Toronto. No, not many people say Toronto, actually. People say Toronto. Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. I know I don't have a strong accent, but there is like things, there are things about the way that I talk that like bothers me real bad. Bit with the wings, uh, there's gonna be a VOD Sumerian. It's uh, with, it's with uh, Alpha Make 3D. <laughs> Broken Scottish accent. Big toe, small toe, Toronto. Ah! Okay, guys, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take a quick break. So I'll let you stare at this uh, thing. I will be R B. Put that, put that. Ooh, bam. Okay, B R B. Please enjoy Chair Stream One Hundred and One. I'll be right back. Oh, here we go. Product placement. You guys get so excited for chair. There it is again. I can't. I can't speak. I need speech therapy. Chair stream. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally, she's gone. Oh wow. Okay. Well, you know what? I only have an hour left. I can end right now. <laughs> you want me to end right now? I'll end right now. Hey Tanuki, how's it going? How are you? Proper Canadian French. Oh please. So triggered. No, I'm. I'm kidding. There is no like proper, proper, pfft, whatever. It's all botched anyways. Okay. Let's... Start to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit more design work on these, like, leg things. So we're gonna do sort of like ooh, hello, damn standard. What's up? What's up with you? What is up with you? Let's let's do 
ba, ba, ba. Reset current brush. Thank you. There we go. If you guys do too much like editing to a brush and you don't know how to get it back to its normal place, by the way, and you don't want to reset all of your brushes, uh, 4R8 actually introduced a new feature where you can s reset individual brushes, uh, their settings. So let's say on damn standard you put like a different alpha map, you can't remember which one of those dots was the exact same one. You can come down here in the brush tab and press reset current brush and then it'll send it right back to its default. But it won't like reset all of the settings on your other brushes. No, Link, no, okay? No, stop it. Yeah, my hair is purple. <laughs> it's been purple for a while, actually. How to isolate. You can isolate your selection uh, right in here. Solo mode. It's this magic button right here. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Nope. Also, if you do uh, transparent, then you can access the interiors with, like, you know, still seeing what everything else is. So you can sculpt on the interiors of things. Actually, just go into solo mode, though. Personal pref. Large hoop earrings. Oh. See, I love hoop earrings. I wear hoop earrings a lot. I like wearing big earrings. That girl, man. That ca catch me outside girl. Mm. On the Sonic fanfiction? Alright, well, uh, Discord will maybe, you know, Dis Discord will provide. Discord will provide for you. We'll start a Sonic fanfic continue my sentence story. How's that? Let's actually not, though. <laughs> Please. My Discord is a sacred place. It is clean. the reason why soundtrack can we hug on it 
Oh, it is so not your Discord. I'm I am ready to ban. We'll we'll ban, okay? All right, so like right now, like you guys, if you have any questions, like ask me, cause like I, I I'm pretty much just doing what I like. I always I always kind of do is just filling things in, working on big shapes first, just getting getting a little bit more detail in here. Ban cord. Yeah, my name's Banny McAdams. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> uh, my god. There's like, there, there's sentient roaches and everything. Like, everything. I think sentient roach is like a TV trope. It's gotta be a TV trope. It has to be a trope. You can't spell today? I can't talk today, so welcome to the, uh, welcome to the club. You have a question. How do you cut away large chunks of the mesh you, you uh, mesh use, like, a box select or mox, or a box mask delete? Um, okay, so if you go control alt, you get, like, a different menu for your brushes. Like, right now, it kind of, it starts on, like, select rectangle, so if you go control alt, let's say this is your thing. Control alt and then like that, that will isolate whatever it is that you have, you know, that you're, you're selecting within that box. If you hold alt, it will do the opposite of that. So it'll hide whatever it is that you're selecting. This will isolate and then this will, this will hide. So what you do, I'm just going to say this real quick, what you can do to delete big chunks is there's also a lasso, like a select lasso, so you can get more um, more specific, you know, shapes if you don't want to use uh, the other way. So when you when you do these hiding things, you can actually in your in your uh, sub tool palette, you can actually split hidden. That's one way to um, split off a big chunk like so, and then you can click uh, split hidden as long as your subdivisions, like you don't have any more subdivisions, like that's important. Um, and then another way, like so basically if you split it off then you can delete it, or you could do a modify topology thing in your geometry uh, tab, as long as you like delete your lower, delete lower, and then you go and uh, you know, hide whatever it is you wanted to kill, then over here there's a thing uh, called bloop, 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 delete hidden right here. Delete hidden. And I have that like over on my on my UI over here because I do a lot of like delete hidden operations. And so then you're left with like this gaping hole, but you can easily close those with close holes right here. So as long as uh, as long as that's del deleted and yeah. All right, you got it. I'm rambling. Hmm's div div 
Whomstidiv. How? What are you saying, Tanuki? What is that? <laughs> I can't sculpt today either. Welcome to the club. You guys ever get tired of looking at the screen? Yeah, absolutely. Like right now. They're very, very sore. <laughs> but I'm only I only have 50 more minutes, so I'm gonna keep uh, going, even though I recommend if you guys if your eyes are getting sore, then you gotta like take a break. Um It usually comes from staring at something for a long time, but you know, if you've watched a lot of my streams, you can see at this point, like this is where I start like doing a lot of like blinking. Cause uh, being at the computer screen for too long is a bad thing. And I come from uh, like an eight hour work day minimum where I'm staring at a screen all day, so. Uh, don't recommend. I'm not going to be keeping that up much longer, but for right now, that's my streaming schedule. So, if you guys have hurting eyes, don't keep staring at the eclipse. I mean, the screen. Um, take a break and uh, get your eyes to not hurt. Okay, so I am not at all digging these like hand things. They just they really like it they just don't suit they don't suit the the, the concept at all. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna delete hidden like I was talking about before. Close holes. And here we go. Aluminum as aluminum, 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 aluminum. What's happening? How would one put in reference images onto ZBrush? Uh, spotlight. 
So in your texture tab right here, you can actually load some textures in this, and then you click turn on spotlight, and you ha if you have your thing selected, you can add like a texture to spotlight. So if you do this, boom, now it's in spotlight, and you can control that wherever you want. But also when you do that, make sure to go into your brush menu, into samples, and turn off your spotlight projection, otherwise you won't be able to sculpt on your mesh. Um, and then uh, Shift Z turns that off if you don't want that nonsense on your screen anymore. <laughs> hey Boyd, how's it going? So I want this to be able to support uh, its weight, so I'm going to bring these inwards a little bit more, and these out. Looks a little bit more uh, balanced, just a little. I really don't like what's going on up here. Um, Design-wise, it's just not... It's not sitting well with me. So, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of like a sculpt over, over it. Kill my baby. Just kill it. Oh my god. That gif in Discord though. Ruined. It's going into your troll fold? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you use this power against me? You you evil evil human beings. I could even call you that. <sighs> Aluminium. Ah, uh, luminio. What? What are you typing? <laughs> what is happening? Why is? Why are people? Who what is happening? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Am I aluminum? Help! Start over? Oh, okay, sorry. No baby kill- yeah, killing- killing my baby, right now. Okay, when I say, uh, kill your babies, it means, like, don't- don't hold on precious- preciously to what you've created. If the concept is not working, kill it. It's okay. I think I just hate these shoulder these shoulder blade things. I'm gonna try doing like a clip. Already better. Already freaking better. That's fine.
All right, see ya, uh, Frantic. Have a good night. You prefer to say aluminium because since you're in a native language, you say aluminium. Oh, killing your darlings with same concept. Uh, okay, yeah. I guess killing your darlings doesn't sound nearly as harsh. Or some oh my gosh, I'm not gonna repeat what you just said. Is the creature male or female? It looks female to you. Um, you know what? Creatures don't, uh, they, they don't need to, uh, you know, uh, follow that, um, male or female thing. Okay? 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 He's, uh, this is, uh, you know, this is 2017. This is 2017. This character, this creature is what it wants to be. Nah, but you're, you're, you're right. In terms of, like, insect, like, insectoids. It's, it definitely looks female. Just pushing those shapes. Push it, push it, push it. And probably take that bit off right there. Cool. cool. Yeah, aluminium. Okay, so you're telling me how to pronounce aluminium. Okay. <laughs> I can't speak, so enjoy my failure. Did you know that Jabba the Hutt species turned female to have children, so Jabba was female at some point? Cool. Cool story. Cool story. Why did it take them so long to add proper widget? I mean... I mean, Core had had this uh, before, um, before Four R Eight came out. Also, like it's you know, there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of coding in it. I'm sure it goes into it. I'm sure they have their reasons. Like I'm I'm not like I'm not a programmer for Pixelogic. Like I don't work for them, so I don't know like how to answer your questions in regards to that. But I mean, the important thing is, is that it's here. So. <laughs> mm. 
very Asian. That's, uh, good. I'm glad. Congratulate. Good for you. Congratulate. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, I'm, I'm getting a little, like, pooped right now, so I'm working a little bit slow. Bear with me. We're almost at the end here. Oh, thanks, Jen. Glad you like it. I am glad. Glad like glad garbage bags. Just like me. Don't be sad. Be glad. Sorry, this is the sleep deprivation getting to me, guy. <laughs> uh, like total of three hours sleep last night. Good times, fun times. Woe is me. Wine, wine, cry, cry. Afraid of corn syrup? Why? <laughs> what what's wrong with cor corn uh, corn syrup? What's going on? What am I missing? What's happening? Of a cartoon from Oh oh I thought you said a cartoon, a cocoon from a moth species. Good. I was looking at so many different types of like caterpillars and stuff. Uh, the other night, and I found like a ton of really cool images, and I was just like blown away at the the types of uh, the types of caterpillars that turn into ugly, ugly moths are just absolutely beautiful. They're just so gorgeous.
To keep going. Corn syrup makes me fat. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus. Are we okay? All right, guys. Everybody, go vegan. Just, just go vegan. Just go vegan. Everybody has like, everybody has like a full like chat seizure as soon as I say that. This chat starts seizing. Just like you told me to do what? You told me to do what? I don't know. Just be healthy. <laughs> just just eat eat vegetables. Just there. Just eat your vegetables. Don't worry about. Corn syrup being in everything. Stop eating your fast food constant like for every single meal. Just, just eat some raw vegetables, fruit. It's good for you. You guys are having a freaking like chat seizure. Just chill. Oh my gosh. Do you have any ZBrush questions? Does anybody want to ask ZBrush questions? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really hungry right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh you guys are the worst. Hi, we're on the Pixelogic channel, so I'm just gonna start talking about Pixelogic things. ZBrush things. Alright, so right now I am using the Maka brush to uh to carve some like clean lines into my sculpts. You can use it in both the additive and the subtractive way in order to get like, you know, strong planes. It's usually meant for like hard, like you know, they they advertise it for hard surface stuff, but I use it for um, just plain, just plainer stuff in general. Anything that I want to turn into uh, some some kind of like a plainer object doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be metallic or plastic or anything. And then you can take a big one of these. Wait. And offset stuff. Ooh. 
like so. <laughs> uh, ZBrush is the program that I'm using, guys. Hey, Ridari. How's it going? Oh my god, Jordan, please. <laughs> Variation, what even are you talking about? Oh my god, I am going to time you out if you don't chill. If you don't- if you don't just like- if you don't just like hold your banana bunch and just- just chill, okay? Just- just chill. I'm telling you, i I have the band powers. You guys behave. <laughs> Tips for polishing a surface that's a bit wobbly. Uh, yeah, so you can use- you can use, um, either- uh, H polish- like, I like using H polish because it goes in a very, like, planar sort of a, a thing, so you can see you, you get, like, a really- a really smooth surface that way. Or you can start cutting out planes with the pinch brush. So, when you use the pinch brush, you can see you can start getting, like, you know, planar shapes that way. Um, another one is that brush that I was just using, the Cut brush. So if you, uh, use that, then you can get some planar shapes as well. Um, and then there's also, th like, another brush called, like, Trim, uh, Trim Adaptive, or Trim Dynamic. And you can start getting, uh, you can start getting some smooth surfaces that way as well. But I would recommend, like, I, I like, I like Trim Adaptive and I like Trim, Trim Dynamic as well, because, like, it follows the curves of things, but I really like to just kind of, like, hash things out in a very, a uh, planar sort of a way, sort of like this, with uh, each, each polish. I usually use that a lot more than the other ones. Alright buddy, you, uh, you were, you were definitely, um, you were warned. I'm gonna kick you. I'm gonna kick you for the rest of the stream right now. Because, uh, I warned you, buddy. Warned ya. You don't listen. I don't- I don't need anybody being a, uh, a rubber hose here. Don't you be a yellow snowflake, please. No yellow snowflakes. Don't you be pooping in my stream chat. Okay, we clean. No, no pooping in stream chat. Three, four, five, four, three, yeah, no worries, Nin, uh, Nin Jonas. Like people, you can you can be here if you want to learn. You can be here if you want to hang out. Want to learn more about ZBrush. If you want to have questions about the industry, if you have questions about sculpting, you can be here as long as you don't poop in the chat. No chat pooping. Don't I don't like it when when somebody just starts having like a mental breakdown in chat. Like, chill. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Uh, plan to take this? Are you gonna go super fine details? Uh, probably not. This is just sort of like a general, like a general idea for a sculpt. Um, I'm just gonna be sculpting for another 20 minutes and then it's the end of the stream anyways and that's usually how far I end up taking uh, these sorts of sculpts. And I just kind of like get it to a like a presentable state where you could show um, a first pass to like a director if you're doing any concept work. I would also say though, like, if you could do a paint over of something like this, it would be recommended. Just cause like, 
a lot of directors like to see things a little bit more finished. Am I German? No, I'm Canadian. Supposed to be doing? Please teach? Wait. <laughs> what are you talking about, Twisted? Please. <laughs> hey Ecuador, the Junte. Thanks for thanks for that. Thanks for being here. I'm definitely Canadian. Show me how to use that uh, Kooky transpose tool. Yeah, you can you can definitely. Okay, so if you want to use the transpose tool, um. You, you just like you click off of this and now you have the transpose tool if you click on that then you know like it's why why is the toggle for it for, like gizmo to transpose so transpose basically you just you draw it out and if you hold like if you drag on like the middle circle and you you can just start moving it around so you can create a pivot that way right like that and you can start moving it around by uh, hold like the middle white circle area right here so it works basically the same way as uh as the gizmo would except you're you're using it in a different sort of like it's it's, it's a line instead of a circle so it does definitely take a lot of like getting used to it is a little bit weird it is a little bit like strange especially if you're used to a native uh 3d package but if you I don't know. Uh, like, what, what, what do you want to, what do you want to know with it? Like, what do you want to, what do you want to learn, exactly? Like, cause you can, you can do all kinds of things. So, like, if you uh, pull that down here, and then you hold Alt while you're in the middle here, you can actually get a curve with whatever it is that your trans, like your your middle part is. That will be the uh, the middle of the curve. So wherever you drag this. It will curve in that direction if you hold alt so if i had dragged uh dragged from here to here and then i hold alt right like you can start moving that around hey harry how's it going when you move it you smash things that's because you're using you're you're probably using uh, something, uh, probably like right up here. So don't grab it here. Don't do this one. This one, this one basically you can start cutting your your model, to, like uh, with the transpose. Like you can actually like cut it off with uh, with whatever line that you're dictating. So like like let's say I did it like this, and then I. Did this way you can see the line is going up with the direction of the transpose so don't grab it from there you can move it by grabbing the uh, inner middle circle right and then if you do something with this then you're just gonna start like pushing it around where the uh, the beginning part where you dragged it out where all of like these little like Y X and Z lines are coming from that is your your pivot point If you wanted to pose the arm from the joint accurately with the transpose, um, yeah, so then drag it down on one axis, and then like if you want this to be centered, hold this middle bit right here and start positioning it. And just kind of like look around on like different orthographic axes, axes, and then at the top as well. And then if you want it to stick out in a different direction, you can just press one of these and it'll stick out in that direction, but it'll still maintain its pivot point. So if you stick it out this way, then you can start like, you know, you can start moving the uh, the transpose bit around based on that axis. And then, yeah, and then you could, you could also grab this bit right here and pull it down the end bit to make it shorter. And, uh, and then, yeah, 
rotate, scale, move, it all maintains the same transpose, so then you can start rotating it that way. The gizmo works the same way, it's just a different format. Hey Skippy! But yeah, I've been using the, the gizmo now. Just cause like it snaps to, snaps to stuff. Alright, I'm gonna try and get a little bit more of this finished before I go. Also guys, if, you, if you're enjoying what you're seeing right now and you want to see like a whole bunch of other Pixelogic streamers and different artists um, doing things in their own way and like maybe, maybe, you know, my way doesn't really like work for you, maybe you think this is like, you know, a non-intuitive workflow, that's totally fine, like all artists are going to be different. Um, there might be somebody on this channel that you can you can understand uh, better that might explain things to you specifically better than I can so I'd recommend you give this channel a big fat follow just, just a big fat one just a big fat follow and then you can catch a whole bunch of other professional artists streaming here teaching you how to sculpt in Z brush Yeah, Joe was earlier. Uh, dynameshing this object, you're on subdivision 2. Does dynamesh not work on meshes with more than one level sub? Um, yeah, no, I use I use uh, dynamesh, but a lot of the time if I just want like a quick like like cuz control D is like really easy to just like click. Uh, there's a lot of times that I just kind of like go and I press control D instead of like, you know, finding a new high high resolution to dynamesh this at. So if I have my main shapes all like hashed out, I actually, I don't mind just subdividing a dynameshed sculpt. Thanks, Link. Yeah, and if you if you if you do enjoy what I do, you want to see more of that, you can follow me on my channel. Um, those streams get a little bit crazy, though. It's not to everybody's liking, but you know what? Check it out. Why not? What doesn't hurt? Does not hurt. Link dropped that link in chat. It's also at the bottom of the screen, if you want.
Do I take time to do in-depth critiques if you send the file? I haven't been, like, I don't have a ton of time to do in-depth critiques. You can drop things in Discord and when I have time, like, I can take a, take a look at it. But if I don't have anything to say, then I usually just, like, don't say anything. Sometimes, um, you know, like, people, people send me things that I just feel like like, I could critique, but I'm not an expert in, you know, every single field. So it's like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to waste your time. Like, if you're sending me things, like, you know, lighting-based, of course I can critique it on a basic level, but I'm not, like, I'm not, like, a professional lighter or anything like that, so I won't be able to help in that sense, etc., etc. But yeah, you can, you can try on, on Discord. Sometimes I have, I have time. But uh, in terms of like live critiques, no, I don't, I don't, I don't do that uh, right now, anyways, because I just haven't, I haven't had enough time for that. Time, time, time. It's all I talk about. It's all that matters. It's time. Ooh, getting deep. World's smile, smallest violin. Absolutely. Will my tutorial have features like this in it? Um, yeah, it'll be focused mostly on... Uh, also, high blends. It'll be focused mostly on how to go about creating an appealing character. And I know, like, some of you guys will probably be like, what are you talking about, an appealing character? You're making gross bugs. Well, I work as a... Uh, as an artist in the animation industry for my full-time job but my you know my secondary passion is creating creatures at home so I'll just show you guys before I end what uh, what kind of stuff is gonna like what that tutorial is gonna look like it's for Flip Normals. It's going to be a, a Flip Normals exclusive. I have a lot of work left to do on it. I've been extremely busy, but it's going to go through blocking, it's going to go through posing, it's going to go through expression. It's basically just going to go through my thought process of designing uh, something on the on the go, like with ZBrush, but in a, like as a, an appealing character. And that tickles your fancy. I'll show you guys what it is in a second. And this brush that I'm using right now is actually just the damn standard with a lazy step applied to it. You like nasty spiky things. You don't like Retapo? A lot of people don't like Retapo. I think I only like Retapo for a short amount of time and then I get really like really tired of it really fast. Because it's the same thing over and over again. <laughs> I have no time. <laughs> no time for time and I'm not a professional liner. <laughs> Oh, thanks, HP. I'm never able to give you full critiques, though. I'm sorry about that. Ice cream consumption? Oh my gosh, Harry, please. 
<laughs> they are appealing. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, retopologizing this wouldn't be the best thing. But that's not, you know, we're not we're not creating this for uh, an like you know a retopology like this is not for that kind of thing. It's just like it's for um, conceptual conceptualizing, just making like a final image to get something like something look approved, and then you can think about functionality and all of that kind of stuff later. But again, like this is more of like a creative exercise than anything. So, with the retopology stuff, no one's going to be retopping this, so it's fine. If, so if somebody was going to be retopping this, then, or if I had to, then I would definitely be putting this in like some sort of like an A pose. Would not by any means be leaving it in like, you know, a scrunched up pose or whatever. Because like riggers would just like murder me. All right. I think you know we got we got relatively far today. Not super far, but you know what? This is this is a decent uh, place to leave. Like just being like you know what? This is a this is a concept right here. This is a concept. Um, so, here we go. I'll leave this guy, I guess, right here on the screen, and I'll pull up really quickly before I head off. Let me just save. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Does it have a sting? Yes, it does. It stings. Wow, twisted, thanks. <laughs> uh, would you say concepting is moving more towards 3D and away from 2D painting? Actually, like, it's more of like a mix right now. I wouldn't say that it's just like full on 3D in terms of concepting, but like making a 3D base and then painting over it is like 100% faster than just doing everything from scratch. So if you want to get into concept work for the industry, like, you know, for film and all that kind of stuff, like, it's definitely a good asset to have is uh, being able to do things in 3D and then paint over them. My 3D printing it and sending it to the, oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's a, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, anyways, uh, let's, I'll show you guys really quick what I'm doing for the tutorial. It's, it's at a preliminary stage right now, but um, I'm posting updates on Twitter as as I as I go. So here's this guy. So this is this is the thing that I'm doing for um, the tutorial. You guys can uh, follow along with that sort of a thing uh, later. Or, you know, I'll be releasing it. I won't be releasing it. Flip Normals will be releasing it later on. Um, but this is the kind of thing that will be in the tutorial that I'm making right now. So it's not it's not like a creature concept tutorial. It's a how to make an appealing character. It's the hows and whys and what's that whole thing. Yeah. So that's that. If you're interested, you can follow along. I'm posting stuff on Twitter and Facebook and all that kind of fun, fun, fun stuff. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> yeah, so that, that stage is like uh, the block out. And then there's a lot of like refining stuff that needs to happen. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so, as always, we're going to finish off this sculpt with the most important part of any concept. Do you guys know what it is? Do you guys know? I think I know. I think, I think I know exactly, <laughs> exactly what's gonna happen here. Um, you need to add 
IMM ears. Wait, sorry. That's sloppy. You need to add human ears onto your sculpt in order to make it industry standard. If it's a character, everything needs human ears. He needs to be all hearing. He needs to be able to hear everything that's happening around him. Look at look at this concept. Industry standard concept. Bam. Bingo. We found the key to everything. He just needs to be very, very full of ears. Actually, let's let's just let's get this. Let's just get this. Let's just let's just do a lot. Let's just like like really like do a a lot, a lot of a lot of ears, just just a lot of. This one doesn't, it doesn't want to have lots of ears. It's just like let let's just like put rotations of ears. Actually, yeah, ear necklace. It's beautiful. Magnificent. Here's for days. Okay. Ready. Anyways, okay, guys, I'm gonna head off now because it is 12. I am exhausted. I hope you guys learned a few things. If not, that's fine. Um, give Pixelogic a follow if you haven't because there's a lot of great streamers on this uh, on this platform. And if you're interested in what I do, then you can come hang out on my stream for some interesting sculpting time. Sometimes it's serious, most of the time it's just meme-tastic. Um, and then also tomorrow, who's going to be streaming tomorrow? Tomorrow we have Brendan in the morning. We have Brendan at- oh, or is that the afternoon? I'm not sure, because like the last time he was streaming in the morning, so it says 4 p.m. PT, which which is like, that's that's the afternoon. So Brendan tomorrow and Timothy Rapp is also back tomorrow, so uh, two great streamers, go check them out tomorrow. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for stopping by. Good night, and later, alligators. <laughs>